In this video, I'll show you two examples of how to write a differential equation for a given scenario and context. The first scenario involves drinking coffee. After Alima gets up in the morning, she drinks a cup of coffee around 7 a.m., ingesting 100 milligrams of caffeine. Then she heads into work, where everyone drinks coffee continuously throughout the day. Each cup of coffee contains 90 milligrams of caffeine, and Alima drinks one cup of coffee per hour. Alima's body metabolizes 22% of the caffeine each hour. We'll write A of t to represent the amount of caffeine in Alima's body in milligrams. Let's come up with a differential equation for A prime, the rate at which the amount of caffeine in Alima's body is changing. Let's represent the amount of caffeine in Alima's body with the color green. So Alima starts her day with 100 milligrams in her body. Throughout the day, she adds 90 milligrams per hour at a constant rate. She metabolizes 22% of the caffeine per hour. This means when there is a lot of caffeine in her body, 22% is a large amount, so the caffeine is metabolized quickly. When there is less caffeine in her body, 22% is a smaller amount, so it is metabolized slowly. So for the rate at which the caffeine is changing, we can first account for the constant rate of increase by including a constant term in the differential equation. This constant term represents the constant rate of 90 mg per hour. Then, since metabolizing involves removing caffeine, this would correspond to a negative rate that is proportional to the amount of caffeine that is left. So we would subtract 22% of A to represent this changing rate. So this is a differential equation that models the rate at which the amount of caffeine in Alima's body is changing, and is measured in units of milligrams per hour. Since this is just a rate, it alone doesn't tell us the actual amount of caffeine that is left in her body, so it doesn't directly take into account the 100 milligrams from the beginning of her day. Let's look at a second example. Imagine your neighborhood park has a small pool. Pools are supposed to have some chlorine in them, ideally between 1 and 3 parts per million. This means out of every million particles of liquid in the pool, between 1 and 3 should be chlorine, and the rest should be water. Unfortunately, your pool has 5 parts per million of chlorine. There are already people playing in the pool, so you don't want to change the water level if possible. So you need to reduce the chlorine levels, but you don't want to change the water level in the pool to do this. So, you start pumping fresh water into the pool, while simultaneously pumping out the overchlorinated water. Let's say you're pumping in fresh water at a rate of 10 liters per minute. And, in order to keep the water level the same, you pump the chlorinated water out at a rate of 10 liters per minute. And let's say the pool holds 25,000 liters of liquid. Let's write C of t to represent the amount of chlorine in liters in the pool after t minutes have elapsed. We want to write a differential equation to describe C prime, the rate at which the amount of chlorine in the pool is changing. So let's think about this situation. The pool initially has a mixture that has a lot of chlorine. So the liquid that is being pumped out has a lot of chlorine, and C prime is large. But as more fresh water is pumped into the pool, it mixes with the liquid already in the pool, so the pool has less chlorine. This means that the water that is pumped out has less chlorine, so C prime is small. If we assume that the chlorine gets evenly mixed with the fresh water, then it is also evenly mixed in the liquid that is being pumped out. So the proportion of chlorine that gets pumped out is equal to the overall proportion of liquid that is being pumped out. That is, 10 out of the 25,000 liters of the liquid is pumped out each minute. That's equivalent to 0.04% of the liquid in the pool. So that same proportion of the chlorine is also pumped out each minute. And this tells us that the rate at which the amount of chlorine is decreasing, it's 0.04%, which as a decimal is 0.0004 of the chlorine that is currently in the pool. It's negative, and that's measured in liters per minute. And now we've found a differential equation that describes the rate at which the amount of chlorine in the pool is changing. And together, We've written differential equations to describe each of these two scenarios.